about Jamaica, baby. They made me to be the greatest. Serving the deed of my creators. Fresh off of my high haters. It's the king again. Magdalene Sofit bragging and boasting. Yo, what up, y'all? It's your boy Dollars. Welcome back to the channel. It's another day, another dollar video. This time we got Hopspin. Hopson. It's called Your House. Listen, I never heard a Hobson song in my life, but I have a friend that he, he swears Hobson's the best rapper in the world. Like, he thinks he's better than Eminem. So, uh, I've been wanting to check him out for a while, and to me, like, ain't nobody better than Eminem. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, my boy is a fan of him, and he's been told me for the longest to check him out. So, we're going to hop in this joint. We're going to check it out. We're going to see what he's talking about. All right? Let me know if y'all fans of Hobson and what's some of his best music that y'all would want me to react to and check out. Hopson. Okay, what's going on here? Some domestic violence shit? That's what it's looking like. Broken home type of shit. That's a young even Hobson. I don't even know what happened. I was born inside of this shit. My fucking parents scrapping. I was mortified as a kid. Police Ooh, always at my house mortified. all because of my daddy's temper. Man, this shit been going on about as long as I can remember. remember. He'd always blame my mom for the shit he didn't accomplish. I'd hide in the corner like a guinea pig in the process. Just knowing he about He would always blame my mom for the shit that he didn't accomplish. And I would hide in the corner like a guinea pig in the process. Damn. That's real shit too. There's always people that they didn't achieve what they wanted in their life and they look for scapegoats. They look for reasons to blame everybody instead of looking in the mirror, you know, but that's crazy. I'm liking this shit already. I'm really liking this shit already, bro. Real talk. Can't remember. He'd always blame my mom for the shit he didn't accomplish. Uh -huh. I'd hide in the corner like a guinea pig in the process, Damn. just knowing he' about to smack the fucking teeth out of mouth. It's like when it came to some type of drama, he got aroused. No joke. Aroused there was the moments where dad would slowly be creeping up. I would jump in front of my mama. Please don't beat her up. I ain't never spoke on this shit. The memories are rough. Smiles and hugs. That's just something you'll never see in us. You know the. He said, I ain't never spoke on this shit because the memories is rough. So, um, now I could see like some similarities with M as far as like, you see how M raps about his life and the shit that he dealt with with his mom. Well, Hobson, he's rapping about the shit he dealt with in his life as a kid. You know, his father, the the abuse. So, and he, he, he sounds like him a little bit too. Like his voice, like a young M. I ain't, I ain't even gonna hold you, man. Anyway, let's bring this back. Don't beat her up. I ain't never spoke on this shit. The memories are rough. rough. Smiles and hugs, that's just something you'll never, never see in us. us. You know the pain when your parents tell you to go and play. Then hours later, you see your mom and she got a swollen face. Wow. I hope you don't relate. I just learned how to cope today from the days when I would pick up the phone and say, I gotta leave here now. My mom and dad acting crazy in the same rate. And they've been going back and forth all night. I want to stay at your house tonight. I'm getting I some M vibes, man. Fight, mama, no more. I don't want to hear the police at the front door. Yo. Can I stay at your house? I want to stay at your house tonight. Your house tonight. I would go to school feeling so frightened. Yeah, I was scared. Not knowing if I'm going to go home finding my mama dead. Every other fucking day, dad was always losing control. He was acting like a fucking Nate running loose in our home. Man, ever since I was born, they was pessimistic and torn. It's evident, but regardless, they never get a divorce. God, I wish they got around it, just checking into some counseling. We could have been a happy family inside our house again. I said again, as if we ever were, that's false. Shit I dealt with growing up will forever hurt. I'm lost. We were nothing like the families I used to see on the sitcoms. We were horrible whip bonds. I can no longer sitcom. I Damn. We were nothing like the families I would see on the sitcoms. I could never sitcom. I'm horrible with Bond. It's like, damn. That's real shit. Because every time you see, like, you know, whether it be, let me see, Fresh Prince or Good Times, whatever. Any show like that, the families is always great. Like, it's so opposite. Reality is so different than what you see on, on the TV. Especially them shows like that with them happy families and, yeah. That's just crazy right there. Shit. My heart goes out to everybody that has to deal with that too. Real talk. We were 
horrible whip runs. I can no longer sit calm. I would see that my friends had a life at home that was peaceful. They were lovable people who didn't function like we do. Or how I wish I could redo the pain of the wicked days. When I pick up the telephone, call a friend and say, I gotta leave here now. My mom and dad acting crazy in the same right. And they've been going back and forth for a night. I wanna stay at your house tonight. Cause I don't wanna hear my dad fight mama no more. I don't wanna hear the police at the front door. Can I stay at your house? I wanna stay at your house tonight. Tonight. I ain't placing the blame saying it's mama dad's fault But all those traumas I had stuck with me as an adult And it ignited these mad thoughts that I seem to have often Yeah that's Hobson, music is where my last straw went Now I'm devoted to always give you my true life The love I never felt growing up I get it from you guys Please don't Man. get it twisted I love He said I'm devoted to always giving you my true life And the love I never felt I get it from you guys That's how it be man that's how I feel with like my some of my subscribers. Y'all not like subscribers to me, y'all family. You know, y'all support, show love, and that's something that I have to get used to still. Cause it's like my whole life I ain't never had that. I, I grew up in a hood full of haters. They ain't have no love for me. I said that in one of my can I rap videos, and that's a fact. Real talk. So shout out to all my subscribers, man. Y'all like family to me. And then y'all reach out, y'all show a lot of love and support. And it does it like it touches me, man, honestly. I know, and I always let y'all know I appreciate y'all, and it's true, so, you know, so, I'm liking this song, I'm liking Hobson a lot, I definitely want to check out more of his music in the future, real we'll talk, bring this back. And it ignited these mad thoughts that I seem to have often Yeah, that's Hobson, music is where my last straw went Now I'm devoted to always give you my true life The love I never felt growing up, I get, get it, it from, from you guys. guys Please don't get it twisted, I love both my parents to death I just think there's issues a lot of fucking parents neglect We Man. all got these traumas we carry and sometimes it's scary Cause we bury the nest right there in our chest And we subconsciously air and project the nightmares and the stress that we dealt with when we we subconsciously air and project the nightmare. Basically, that's real shit, man. There's a lot of people that are dealing with trauma in their life that they push to the back of their mind. And they don't know that subconscious consciously they act it out with their aggression or um, how you say it, uh, passive aggressiveness. There's people that they don't even realize why they are the way they are because they they forgot about the traumas that they had in their life because they don't want to remember it so they push it all the way to the back of their mind and then they don't realize that that shit is infecting them they haven't spoke about it they haven't truly healed from it so it's infecting them and it's infecting every way they interact with people and everything they do in their everyday life and they don't realize that damn like that's real talk you know like they need to go get some help or talk about it or you know try to heal from it in order to actually you know, notice what the hell's going on with them. But he, he just dropped a lot of bars, man. Real bars too. Real music. I'm I'm fucking with it. Think there's issues a lot of fucking parents neglect. We all got these traumas we carry, and sometimes it's scary because we bury the nest we right there in our chest. Right there and we subconsciously chest. air and project the nightmares and the stress that we dealt with when we were younger. And that's why therapy's best. Listen, if you he got kids of your own and you throwing tantrums, don't be oblivious and assume that it won't impact them. Children follow the protocol of the parents' blueprint. So when there's they an issue, the they might handle it just how you did. You did. Mm. Fat. I gotta leave here now. My mom and dad acting crazy in the same right. And they've been going back and forth for all night. I wanna stay at your house tonight. Cause I don't wanna hear my dad fight mama no more. I don't wanna hear the police. And I just wanna touch on one last thing what he said about the kids following the blueprint. Um, yeah, man, listen, as a parent, you're a teacher. You're the first teacher that, that a kid has in their life because everything that you do, your kid wants to do, wants to be just like you. So you got to realize every little thing you do, your son or your daughter is watching it. And that's, you know, making them who they are because they want to be just like their parents. That's what they where they get their personalities from. So people got to be more mindful of what they do in front of their kids. Please at the front door. Can I stay at your house? I want to stay at your house tonight. Your house tonight.
right. All right, well, that was the video right there, and I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, I think Hobson has a new fan. Real talk. I I, I want to check out some more of his music. I want to hear what else he has to say. So, you know, all you Hobson fans, holler at me in the comments. Let me know what y'all want to see me react to next. If you're new to the channel, please feel free to hit the like button and subscribe. And you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. It's your boy Dollars. I'm a holler. I'm out.